Welcome everyone to another um, C Sharp tutorial and this is actually going to be talking about how to change your theme, um, the coloring of this text here instead of uh, just programming. So we're going to go Tools up here at the top menu and say Options. And underneath here we got Environment, that's what you want. You can click Fonts and Colors. You got a lot of different options in here. Um, you can choose the font and the size your foreground color, and I'll show you what that does. Let's say I change it to maroon. You can see all this changed. Of course, I don't like it like that. Um, but we can go back here and change it back to silver, I think is what I had it on. Okay. And then we're going to go back to options. And just a second. Okay, so the things you want to look at are stuff like plain text. You can kind of see the options over here. Um, selected text probably sort of important. I mean, that's sort of like, well, I'll just have to show you. We'll change that to, mm, yeah, let's go with white. Uh, no, that's too. Yeah, okay, we'll just pick now just for demonstration green. So when you click OK, when I select, you can see it's green, the selection. And I actually kind of like that, so I'm actually going to leave that like that. And then if we keep going down here, you can see stuff like line numbers and the white space, bookmark. Anyways, the important stuff, though, are things like comment, like what color your comments are. And I have an example comment down here. So we'll change this to, like, lime. You can see that change down here. Now it's lime. But lime's a little bit too bright. So I'm going to go in here and choose something a little less bright and shiny. We'll just go with green. The other thing you do is change things like what color this is. So we'll then go ahead and go here. Keep going down. Keep going down here. Okay, and I should mention keyword. Keyword stuff like the public partial class. See, it's cayenne. Uh, you, you can change that around basically whatever you want. Same as the others. Um, and a couple other things. I think identify. No, okay, maybe not. But number, numbers like an actual number. So if I type a number out here, oops, not there. And that wasn't a number. Type a number out here. So what color this number text is. And the other thing that says operator, or like multiplied, uh, divided, you know that sort of stuff. Of course not. There you go. Division sign. Go back to options here. And then. Other thing, things like warning, like the underline, and I believe there's another called error that you do. Anyways, back to strings, I'm going to show you. You see I've got a string here, it's that color, so we're going to change this to say, I don't know, red. Kind of change it up, but I don't really like that, so I'm going to set it back. But yeah, that's basically how to use this. Um, there's a few other options in here that you can uh, set it to. I think I'll make this. Ugh, come on. Um, custom. Yeah, let's pick a color here. Okay. Cool. Whatever. There we go. Um, so I hope this helped you guys out a little bit, and um, talk to you, show you guys new stuff later. Um, remember to leave a comment, rate. Subscribe, and that's all for now. Bye.